I think you're going to enjoy this lab. It's kind of a detective story where you're going to take an unknown mixture and you're going to try to decide whether it's a suspension, a colloid, or a solution. And I'll take you step by step through the process of how you're going to figure that out. Here are the materials you're going to need. Water, a tray of ice cubes, four plastic containers with lids, paper towels, and a teaspoon. Not a tablespoon, as it says in the lab guide, but a teaspoon. A graduated cylinder, masking tape, a permanent marker, milk, salt, baking soda, chalk dust, four plastic cups, white vinegar, and an eight by eight by two inch baking dish. In this experiment, you'll prepare four mixtures in small plastic containers with lids to test and classify. Be sure to rinse and dry the teaspoon after each step. First, you're gonna take 300 milliliters of water, put it in a large container, and allow it to come to room temperature. That'll take about an hour. Pour 100 milliliters of milk into the graduated cylinder and then into a plastic container. Label the container with the masking tape and the magic marker. Add 100 milliliters of water to the next container. Label that one salt. Add one teaspoon, not a tablespoon, but a teaspoon of salt to this container. And put on the cover. Fill the next container with 100 milliliters of room temperature water. And add one teaspoon of baking soda. Label the container baking soda and put on the lid. Finally, put 100 milliliters of water into the last container and add one and a half teaspoons of chalk dust to the water. Label the container chalk dust and put the cover on. Now you're doing part A of the experiment. You're going to test the mixtures to determine if they are suspensions. Let them sit out for about an hour. If solid material settles to the bottom, it is a suspension. Note, if the solids do not settle to the bottom, the suspension may not have had enough time to settle out and you need to test further. Now you're going to do part B of the experiment. In a plastic cup, stir together one tablespoon of white vinegar and one tablespoon of the milk. Be sure to rinse and dry the tablespoon after you do each test here. And now you stir. Repeat that for the salt, the baking soda, and the chalk mixture. If this forms a colloid, you will see the mixture coagulate into large particles. You're going to do this procedure with the salt, the baking soda, and the chalk dust. Record your results after each part of the procedure. And write down which ones look like they're colloids. Now we move on to part C. By now you've determined that some of these mixtures are suspensions, some are colloids, but now you need to decide which of them are solutions. So be sure you have covers on these containers tightly and put them in the baking dish full of ice cubes. Components of suspensions will settle to the bottom of the container. The 
The bottom of the container will get cloudy as the top clears. Solutions will not settle. However, the solid components of the solution will settle out of the solution if you cool it and go back into solution if you heat it back up. To double check, remove the ice from the baking dish. Run warm water over the baking dish to bring up its temperature. Fill the baking dish with warm water and then place the containers into the baking dish. If you begin to see solid material dissolving back into the mixture, the mixture is a solution. So what did you find out? How would you classify each mixture as a suspension, a colloid, or a solution?